Hello students, I am Sonali Ghosh from Ganchandra Ghosh Polytechnic. Today I am discussing about solute, solvent and solution. First, the definition of solute, solvent and solution. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more components. It is defined by using the term solute and solvent. अर्थात् सॉल्यूशन बाद दोबुन होच्छे सॉल्यूट और सॉल्वेंटेड होमोजेनियस मिक्सचर मुल्लो तो सॉल्यूट और सॉल्वेंटेड प्रोकिटी रूपों निर्भर करे सॉल्यूशन के प्रोकिटी में धारण करा हाल। Now solvent, the component that is present in largest quantity is called solvent. It determines the physical state of solution. Solvent बाद दोबुन खुलो दोबुने जेटी पुरीमान सबसे बेशी थके एवं इटा द्रोबों की कौन भूतों अवस्था आते सिद्ध निर्धारण करे। Next solute, solute one or more component may present in the solution other than solvent and in binary solution only one solute and solvent. That means solution will be consisting of two components only. अर्थात् द्राबो छाड़ा द्रोबों ने जेटी था के ताकि द्राबो बोले एवं द्राबो अनेक रोकों होते पड़े। Next types of solution depending upon the nature of solute and solvent used, solution may be categorized into main three types. First one gaseous solution and here, gas is used as solvent. First of the category is a solution which is made of solid solute and gaseous solvent. Example is camphor in nitrogen gas. Next category is solute is liquid when solvent is used gas and Example is chloroform mixed with nitrogen gas. Now, the last category of this section is a mixture of gas, solute and gaseous solvent. And the common example is the air which is consists of many more gases. Major gases are oxygen and nitrogen gas. Next category liquid solution when liquid is used as a solvent but if solid is used as solute then it is the salt solution or glucose solution that means different types of salt namely sodium chloride potassium nitrate any water soluble salt are present in the solution and also when glucose is dissolved in water. Second category of this section is a mixture of liquid solute with liquid solvent and the common examples are alcoholic solution. When ethyl alcohol or ethanol or water it is a case of liquid solution and third category of this section is when gas is solute and liquid is solvent. The example is oxygen dissolved in water or lemonade water or soda water. When carbon dioxide is under pressure and it is dissolved in water in case of lemonade water. Next category, solid solution. When both solute and solvent are solid, examples are different types of alloys. Next section, liquid solute and solid solvent, where we found different types of amalgam. Mercury is present along with sodium or other metal. Next, when gaseous solute is used in solid solvent, example is solution of hydrogen over palladium. Actually, Hydrogen gases are ab adsorbed 
over the palladium or platinum metal. In this chapter, we are mainly focusing on the binary solution. That means solutions which are made up of two components known as liquid and any solid solution. That means when some solid solutes are present in liquid solvent, generally these are known as liquid solutions or here if we take water as a universal solvent, then they are considered as aqueous solution. Different methods of expressing concentration of solution, the composition of solution is defined in terms of concentration. There are several ways to define concentration of solution. Some of are as small. Percent concentration. The amount of solute dissolved in a certain amount of solution is called the concentration. So, concentration can be mathematically expressed as amount of solute divided by amount of solution. Here mass percent where mass percent that means percentage of mass by mass. Mass percent of a solution is nothing but the mass of solute divided by the mass of solution. Mass percent can be mathematically expressed as mass of solute divided by mass of solution and it must be multiplied by 100. Next, mass of solution can be estimated by the summation of mass of solute plus mass of solvent also. The most important factor is the solubility and the nature of solution depending upon whether it is saturated or unsaturated. What is solubility? We came to know solubility refers to the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a given or definite amount of solvent. Each and every salt have a specific amount of solubility. Many factors such as type of solute used, type of solvent used and the temperature which may affect the solubility of a solute in a solution. So solubility depends on those factors that are type of solute, type of solvent and also the temperature. Solubility is measured usually in grams of solute per 100 grams of solvent at a particular temperature. A solution that does not contain the maximum amount of solute in it at a given temperature is called unsaturated solution. That means in that solution more solute can be added. So this is called unsaturated solution. But when a solution that contains the maximum amount of solute in it at that particular temperature, it is called saturated solution. That means if we add excess amount of solute after that, that will get precipitated and the solution becomes, becomes a solution which having the some precipitation and the filtrate is named called saturated solution. Here we are observing a chart the solubility of most of the solids in water and it is found that in most of the solids in water solubility increases as temperature increases. Using solubility chart shown here the solubility of a solute at a given temperature can be also determined. For example, if we want to know the solubility of potassium nitrate at 40 degree centigrade from the chart, we can get the 80 gram per 100 gram of water that means 80% is the 
potassium nitrate solubility at 40 degree centigrade. Here solubility of gases in water is bound to decrease as temperature increases. At higher temperature, more gas molecules have the energy to escape from the solution. Henry's law states that the solubility of a gas is directly proportional to the pressure above the liquid. For example, a can of soda is carbonated at high pressure in order to increase the solubility of carbon dioxide. Once the can is opened, the pressure is reduced and the excess gas escapes from the solution. And if we look the chart, we can get the curves are different for each source. Look here, here potassium iodide, glucose, sodium nitrate, potassium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium phosphate, sodium sulfate. In case of each salt, we can get different types of solubility against temperature curve. Now, there are some important mathematical formulations regarding the concentration or determination of the concentration. First of one is mass percentage. Mass percent of component is expressed as the mass of the component in the solution divided by total mass of the solution and that must be multiplied into 100. Volume percent V by V general denotion and volume percent of components can be expressed as volume of the component in the solution by total volume of the solution and that must be multiplied into 100. Mass by volume percent W by V mass of the component divided by 100 ml solution. Now the important unit of concentration is parts per million ppm ppm is calculated as number of parts of component divided by total number of parts of all components of the solution into 10 to the power 6 and it is widely used for determination of hardness of water which are used in industry. Mole fraction. Mole fraction of the component is moles of the component and the total number of moles of all components. And next category is molarity. Most common unit to express the concentration and we are using generally in laboratory for preparing different solutions in this unit. Molarity is nothing but the moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. That means number of moles of solute present in 1 liter solution. And molality it is moles of solute by mass of the solution in kg. That means number of moles present in solute when the Solvent is used as 1 liter, not the solution volume is 1 liter. So these are the few important mathematical formulations which are we using generally for determination of concentration in case of different types of solution. So this is all about your <coughs> topic, solvent, solute and the solution. Thank you.